But what were your thoughts about last week's games? I thought we were better at the end of the week than we were going in, and that's kind of what you wanted to do at this time of the season. You know, each ball game try to advance and get better with it, and, and we did that. One ball game we didn't shoot it well, and I think that ended up costing us a Southwestern ball game, and then we just didn't take care of it the last three minutes against against uh, Cameron, and, and uh, hopefully we can learn from those situations. Came back and shot it real well against Cameron, and then but we had too many turnovers, and then. We missed free throws, you know, free throws was Achilles force that ball game and, and if we just made free throws we you know, we'd have won that one. Two ball games this weekend, we're going down to T W U and on Saturday and then we go over to Commerce on on Monday. T W U is really fast, you know, we're gonna have to really get back and stop their stop the in transition and, and uh, make them shoot the ball over us instead of trying to get out and outrun us and that's the way they like to play up tempo that way. They um on Commerce, same way, they're athletic and, and they, they prefer the up tempo. So we may have to do care takes, going to be real important, controlling tempo in both those ball games for us. And, and, uh, and then on the offensive end, you know, I think we match up well against both teams. You know, we, we uh, neither one of them are a whole lot bigger than what we are, and I think we're as athletic as they are. So we'll just have to make good choices with the ball in our hands, and then we get a good look, knock shots down like we did against Cameron, and we ought to be okay with things. Great. Well, you know, we we were really happy to, to win the game here versus Lovey Christian a couple weeks ago. It was a great win for us. And, and then just disappointed. We, we played well in stretches, uh, the Southwest Oklahoma and uh, Cameron game. Both those schools are, are very good teams. Both of them actually beat Tarleton State, who's picked to win our league. Uh, they both won home games against them. But we, were, we were disappointed because we had opportunities to win both games. And obviously, the Cameron loss was very heartbreaking. And to go up one with a second left, a technical foul. And, um, you know, Max Carrier, who the technical success to, has played great for us. And just just had a momentary lack of judgment. But he's, he's played really well for us and got us in that position. We just got to get, continue to get better. We, we had games we could win that we didn't win, and we've got to find ways to win those games. Uh, coming up this week, uh, Texas A&M Commerce, which will be a road game one Monday. Very good team. I believe they're eight and one. Uh, we're going to be, and again, one of the better teams on the north side of our league. Uh, exceptionally good guards, all three, one, two, and three, and a young man named Desmond King, who's a junior college transfer from Paris Junior College, who's one of the best bigs in our league. So they're they're talented as always. The two and so who are the who are you looking to to step up for those games? Well, um, you know we've got a number of guys, but I, I know in particular Victor Reed is going to be important for us. Victor, uh, one of our returners, had a, had a good year for us last year, and it's been a little bit up and down the last couple games. Victor's going to be important for us to, to play well. Six uh, four young men from uh, El Paso Texas on Thursday.